The three states of water are common knowledge, liquid, gas, solid, but there is another state of water. Hello, my name is Anthony. Welcome to our demonstration. I have a couple things to show you tonight. The first, what we have in our container number one, is dry cement mix, gravel, and sand. Basically concrete without the water added. And what we would do in this case is add our 28 ounces of water, which as you can see is about half a liter. We went ahead and taken the liberty to pre-mix a batch to save time. Sealed it overnight. Basically what we're going to show you is the finished product. And as you can see, of the 28 ounces of water, not much is left. Hardly enough to even dampen this paper towel. <clears throat> because, as most people think, concrete does not dry, it sets, and this 28 ounces of water becomes part of it, as I'll show you now. Thank you. The fourth state of water is concrete. As shown in the demonstration, water when mixed with Portland cement is transformed. It is no longer a liquid, gas, or a reclaimable solid. So what is the big deal? We have plenty of water, right? Do you realize that while driving one mile on a concrete four-lane highway, you are traveling over approximately 170,000 gallons of water? The yearly worldwide production of Portland cement is now 2 billion metric tons. How much fresh water per year does it take to turn 2 billion tons of semen into concrete? Approximately one half trillion gallons. During the past 100 years, the amount of our planet's water used in the mixing of all types of cement totals many trillions of gallons. Could this permanent disappearance of water explain why the ocean levels do not reflect the melting of the ice caps? We are losing water, but we need concrete. Is there a solution? Think about it. 